Where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. God has given us unlimited treasures in His Word. Every time we open it, we can discover a new treasure or admire an old one. What will we find today? Here's Carla Early with Treasure Hunt in the Word. Have you ever felt that you were in the wrong place at the wrong time? Maybe in the middle of an intersection when someone ran a red light, or you got caught between two feuding family members at a reunion. We may feel like we're in the wrong place at the wrong time, but are we? If anyone had this feeling, it had to be Simon of Cyrene. According to Mark 15, 21, Simon was on his way into Jerusalem, probably for Passover, just passing by when a Roman soldier randomly grabbed him and forced him to carry Jesus' cross to Golgotha. He may not have had any idea what was going on, and suddenly he found himself in the thick of it. Maybe he knew who Jesus was, and maybe not. Simon was most likely tired from his long journey to Jerusalem, probably from Cyrene, which is on the Mediterranean coast of modern-day Libya. But fear kept him from refusing to do the soldier's bidding. Just imagine how Simon felt that brief time that he followed a beaten, bloody Jesus up the path to Golgotha. He heard the jeers and mocking of the crowd. He felt the heavy, rough wood, probably with Jesus' blood on it, and now on him. He must have felt fear, confusion, anger, a wide range of emotions. He witnessed Jesus' suffering and anguish up close and personal. Did he melt into the crowd to watch the crucifixion? Even if he had hurried away quickly from the scene, he most likely heard the hammer driving the nails and the agonizing cries of the criminals. It wasn't a day he would soon forget. So what happened to him? We really have no idea. But the fact that his name is mentioned along with his city of origin and the names of his sons Rufus and Alexander tells me that this isn't the last time he has contact with Jesus. It sounds like he and his family became Christians. What a great testimony Simon would have had. He's the only one who quite literally picked up a cross and followed Jesus. As for his sons, Paul greets a Rufus in Romans 16.13. Church history says that Mark traveled with Peter to Rome, which means that he might have met Rufus and heard his father's story from him personally. Likely the seemingly random choice of a Roman soldier changed Simon's life forever. Had he entered the city five minutes later, Simon may have stayed out of it altogether. He may have gone on to the temple to sacrifice his lamb and keep the Passover without even meeting the true lamb of God. So on God's timetable, he had Simon in the right place at the right time to participate in the most life-altering event that would ever happen in the history of the world. If God could do that for Simon of Cyrene, I know I can trust him to put me in the right place at the right time, too. That right place might be highly uncomfortable. It sure was for Simon. And I might not want to be there. I guarantee Simon didn't. But it's right where God wants me, so it's right where I belong. I need to stay alert to those times and not try to wiggle out of things when they get hard. I need to listen for what God might be saying and learn what he might want to be teaching me. Maybe you're in one of those positions right now. Can you trust God knowing he's in charge? Maybe you've been through one of those situations in the past. What did God teach you through it? How has it affected your life? You can contact us at treasurehuntintheword at gmail.com. We'd love to hear the treasures God has given you through his word. You can listen to other episodes at our website, which you can find in the description below. Thanks for listening, and remember, where your treasure is, there will your heart be also.